Hi, I want to welcome everyone again to another demo of Creo Parametric. Today we're going to look at in this demo our sweeps, particularly sweeps using the trajectory parameter and also using a sine wave inside of a sketch for the trajectory. Once again, we're going to use the 777 race car as the basis for the model for what we'll do the demonstration with. For this example here, we're going to focus in on the steering column, particularly the steering wheel itself. Now right now, as we look at the steering wheel, it's a perfectly round circular shape being swept around a path. We want to modify that. We would like to have this simulate more of a real steering wheel, maybe some curvature. And again, that sine wave uh, will come into play here as far as adding this into the actual sweep. Now, opening in my uh, model tree on the left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back or suppress the elements in the model tree all the way back to the sweep. Now one thing you can do in Creo Parametric, you can simply just drag insert here up and down or just select where you like to place the insert, right click and choose insert here. So there's a multitude of ways to actually suppress elements moving insert here up and down within your model tree. Now I'm going to, in this case, edit the definition of my sweep and let's look at the sketch. Again, a lot of clicks, a lot of right click functionality. Uh, limiting your eye movement, limiting the mouse movement by putting a lot of the commands at your, in this case, right click or right at the mouse. Now as we can see right now, I have a basic circular sketch. But we're going to actually remove that. And what I'm going to do is draw a new sketch. Well, instead of drawing a new sketch, taking time, I'm just going to go to my palette and I'm going to retrieve a sketch already created in my palette and one that I'll use in this case for this actual steering column or steering wheel. Now, just like I did in previous videos, placing the sketch, there's various drag handles to allow you to rotate the sketch, resize the sketch, and in this instance, move the sketch. So you can do a variety of things, either with the drag handles, or you can use the dashboard across the top to modify your sketch. Now, once my sketch is placed, what I want to do is modify a relationship where I can build in the sine wave and use the trajectory parameter, in this case, to actually create the sweep. So looking at relations, in this case, I already have put together a relation for this actual sweep itself. I'll do a slight few modifications and I'll explain exactly what this, in this case, these modifications are actually going to do. So looking at my calculation here, it's based on, in this case, the SD5 uh, dimension. And I can see that's the vertical dimension or the width of the actual, in this case, uh, sketch being extruded. And then I have a valuable or a variable in here, 0.25. And then I have my, in this case, sine function in my trajectory parameter uh, inside of the actual quotes or brackets. And then 36 at the very end, which in this case, 36 being uh, the term for the number of cycles that are going to go through or sine waves that are created. So tragpar is going to be a trajectory parameter starting on the beginning at 0 and all the way at the end at 1. Uh, within the calculation itself, and that's going to produce this actual curve uh, as we're going to see within the actual sweep. Now once you write your equation, whatever the equation is, you want to verify that to make sure all of your mathematical calculations are correct. In this case, all of mine turned out okay. I'll complete the actual relation, closing the box of the relation itself. Now I'm back to Sketcher. And again, I can go back to the actual Sketch tab on the very top. I don't have to. But I can, but this is another example of the flexibility of the ribbon on the top of the Creo parametric allowing you to go to multiple areas while you're still in the command. Now with this modification made, I'm going to complete my sketch and what I should see is the actual sweep being swept. One more modification I need to do is I need to make this a variable section sweep. So again, I could go to the dashboard on the top, go to my options tab, or as you see here, I'm just adding a right click choosing variable section sweep now produces that sine curve with a pattern repeating itself in this case a frequency of 36 or 36 times. And just like I did with the other right click, I can middle mouse click completing the command and now I have an updated steering wheel. And then I can take the steering wheel placing it back into my assembly in this case inside of my 777 race car. So again, another way to actually create geometry, create uh, solid models, and this kind using some trigonomic fun functions, the sine wave, also using the trajectory parameter inside of sweep. 
holding a lot of tools in your hand. Again, very flexible, very easy to use. Thank you.